Hey everybody, welcome to another great edition of the Frankie Slauson Show right here on K-Tech and also streaming on YouTube.com. I'm your host Frankie Slauson and today, if you guys are a big fan of the Star Wars series or remember uh, a, such such a holiday classic as Jingle All the Way, well you might know, you might be familiar with my next guest here, uh, Mr. Jake Lloyd. Welcome to the show, hey. Jake. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited with my own name. That's really bad, isn't it? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> hey, if people said my name, I'd be excited about that. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I thought I was a wrestler for a second. I wanted to, like, rip my shirt off and start running that oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be the next Hulk Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the signs? Where's the cow? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Chris Jericho? Right? <laughs> so how? Can I be the next governor? You, well, you may. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because uh, our, our our good old Jesse Ventura was governor of the of a state that I'm originally from, Minnesota. Oh, really? Yeah. How long did you live there? Why would I live there? Well, that just because. No, no, how long? Oh, how? Oh, <laughs> here I thought you asked why did I live there. Uh, <laughs> how how long? I, I pretty much lived there about 29 years of my life before I moved to Rapid City. South Dakota. Nice. Okay, so you pretty much grew up there. Yeah. Grew up uh, over in, in northern Minnesota. Uh, <laughs> small town area. Small town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where we're so close to the Canadian border, it's like, it's crazy. That's how that's how close I, I was about probably 10 miles close to Winnipeg, or the, the Canadian border, about three hours away from Winnipeg. So. Nice. Yeah. So how's it going, Jake? I mean, we're here to talk about you. You're you're yeah, you're the, you're the you're you're so, the star. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I said you're the star. You're 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 the you're the guest of our interview. We're here to talk about you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just chatting, man. I'm I, I, you know you're a you're a new you're a new like on my Facebook page and new friend to come. So I'm just getting to know you. Oh, that's all right. I I appreciate that. You know. And, you know, it's nice to be friends with people who have been in the business. And not just because you've had all this experience, but, I mean, just just the fact that uh, that you and I can kind of relate to each other in a way. Yeah, very much so. I started, I just started doing a, I just started interviewing people myself, actually, as a kind of a, uh, a little bit of a joke, but it's taken off quite well on uh, my Twitch channel with uh, a couple of my friends and stuff. So, I enjoyed the. I can actually relate to you on having inter, having had interviewed a few people, not as many, of course, and not being nearly as skilled. But yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's I'll do my best. Yeah, well, you know that that's that's pretty cool, though. I mean, uh, uh, what what kind of motivated you to kind of to start doing interviews with people? Well, um, I uh, I'm going to be emceeing a bunch of movies at a film festival this coming weekend, not this weekend but next this next weekend good god it's just been that long of a week hasn't it yeah it probably has <laughs> <laughs> and uh anyways i was like well i should probably get some practice in so we decided that on our first uh stream weekend for awkward gaming and interviews with jake lloyd sarcastic saint scott and friends we uh we would do some interviews at night at when we got really sick of getting our butts kicked in, in uh, Dark Souls. Oh. So uh, we invited some people on the show, we interviewed them live, and they've been getting more hits than most of our other stuff, so <laughs> we'll continue gaming, but and uh, talking to people in chat and hanging out with them during the day on the weekends, and then, um, and then at night we usually like to interview people. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, well, for me, I mean, I, I started, uh, well, I started my radio career doing, uh, I didn't start with interviews. I, when I started learning about radio, it was about 2002, uh, after I graduated from high school. And I, I was always kind of wondering how the whole process of radio kind of, kind of worked because I always was a fan of old school radio. Just always kind of wondered how the whole format worked, you know. And I didn't realize what was the difference between simulcast or what was the difference between, uh, uh, that and uh, regular playing live or whatever on the radio, but I learned it, and then eventually, as I got better at it, I, I a friend of mine was doing interviews with all these big damn people, and I was just like, "What? The, how, how the hell do you do that?" I mean, you know, that's kind of interesting. And ever since then, ever since about 2006, with the uh, pro wrestler Greg the Hammer Valentine being the first person I ever interviewed, uh, 
it kind of just kind of grew. That's excellent, man. Yeah, so... Hammer. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize you were that big of a wrestling fan. I, I guess I didn't know that uh, you were a wrestling fan. I'm, I'm not a huge wrestling fan, but I have done a lot of conventions, and they, they, they like to do them, too. Yeah, yeah, they do. Especially a lot of the ones that have been retired for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, Molson will probably tell you, I'm still the businessman. I'm not retired by, by a long <laughs> shot, you know. <laughs> it's like, come on, you're 70 years old. You, you're still the business? <laughs> you, got a, you got a scar down the center of your chest. You were in the movie Wrestler, and you still are in the business? <laughs> yeah, every weekend, man, every weekend. <laughs> so it's like, wow. Some people are just dedicated to their craft, I guess. Yeah, very much so. Sorry, I hope you're not getting feedback from my headphones. I didn't know if they were too loud, but... Oh, I, can, I can't even hear your headphones. I, I'm just... Uh, I actually unplugged my headphones because that's the only way I can record this interview. Uh, because these new laptops now come with uh, uh, built-in microphones and built-in uh, cameras and stuff, uh, I'm not even sure how the heck... I mean, I know how to record the audio with the, the stereo mix, but, you know, so I don't know. I'm... I just, for some reason, it's just so not your technical difficulties. Yeah, for a producer, you know, who can who can help you out, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> rock on, rock on. That's right. That's right. Gotta be positive. It's a learning experience. I just actually bought this new laptop here about a couple weeks ago from a pawn shop, but it's, it's a brand new. It's a brand new model, two thousand thirteen model, and it's a perfect for what I for what I do. So that's awesome, man. Mac yeah. or Windows? Ah, I'm a Windows guy. Man. <laughs> well, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with Macs, but I just, uh, you know. Yeah, but there's so much more right with Windows. Yeah. I mean, the, the only the only Mac I want is a big Mac. You know, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a big Mac? Yeah, you know, yeah. What about now? A couple of them, probably. <laughs> That's the most of a pig I am. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> large fry. Yeah, large yeah. Broke. Yeah. <laughs> Pour the Coke into a butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you supersize these fries for the little woman? It's our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> I swear there's two of us in the car. One of us is just hiding. invisible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. Well, hey, you know, that's, that's, that's just how it goes, you know. I'm actually kind of lucky to live in, here, in a bigger city that actually has all these all these stores. When I, I grew up in a small town of, like, 300 people, and it was almost a treat to actually go to a town where they actually had, like, McDonald's and, and you know, even, even like, a Kmart or whatever. Yeah, that's 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 scary, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that frightens me. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's a little different now in Rapid City. I mean, you know, uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. You know, if you know uh, any history about South Dakota, you know that this is uh, uh, the town that's like real close to uh, Mount Rushmore. I know you know yeah. about Ru- Mount Rushmore. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, we're about twenty miles away from Mount Rushmore. Nice. That's actually really cool. I've never been. I've always wanted to go, though. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things where I'd only go if I had children to torture. <laughs> <laughs> or if you were working on a movie, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. Maybe a, a live-action version of the uh, American Dad episode. Oh, there you go. There you go. The perfect perfect uh, synopsis for uh, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> yeah. Coming out of uh, Washington's nose and stuff and saving someone. <laughs> I remember I was reading like a Mad magazine one time. There, they, they, I used to collect Mad magazines back in the nineties, and uh, uh, they had a parody about Rushmore where there, where it was like during the winter time, and they had like a, it was like a bunch of like a snow. It looked like a snow booger or whatever coming out of like a Abe Lincoln's nose or whatever. You know? So it looked like he had a booger coming out of his nose, like a, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mad magazine. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> seen this year that floating around for a while. Well, believe it or not, they're actually still around, but they're to me they're not nearly as good as they used to be. They used to be really they used to really uh I mean next they probably they, they did me on they did a parody of me on the cover, which was pretty funny and I enjoyed that. Oh yeah, I suppose they would have, uh yeah, because Star Wars were such a you know, when they were talking about doing the prequel, you know, and, and everybody well, you know, all the Star Wars geeks, you know, were finally so happy that they're making a prequel uh, yeah, I can imagine you being on a lot, many, many covers of, you know, whether parody magazines or just uh, all over the America or probably the world, probably. Yeah, I, 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 
I got quite a few of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, I mean, you, you've you been to the, you know, what people, for people who are just joining us here for this uh, goofy, fun little interview that we're doing here, uh, I'm talking with uh, Jake Lloyd, and, and if that if that name isn't familiar with you guys, well, then where the hell you guys been? He was in Star Wars, the very first Star Wars, he's been in Jingle All the Way, and I'm sure you've done a lot of other things prior to that, too, We, you know, that we can talk about. Uh, other than just the same old, same old, but you, you, you got to, you got to be lucky and, and and got to get your name out there. And whether it was uh, something that you really wanted to do or or not, you you still, you were a success. You were a hit, you know. So I'm sure that was a lot to take in as a young kid. Are oh, you still there? Oh, got you on hold. Oh. Connection problems, of course. We got uh, hello. <laughs> it must have had like a connection I problem. Least Skype was bought by Windows recently, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, it's probably it's, it's one of our connections. Probably my connection because I'm just on a wireless feed, and and uh, yeah, the internet. I'm Etherneted in. Yeah, I, I'm. Well, the the wireless you know is okay, but it's like. Uh, we don't have the fastest internet over here. We can get it, but it, but uh, right now we're just I don't know. It's just I'm living with a roommate, so it's just it's just what he wants. So it's good enough. It it, uh, it does the trick. But we were talking about like your you know the fact that you you've had a, a taste of you know taste of what Hollywood's all like, the highs and the lows, and uh, what were some of the highs and what were some of the lows that you can remember. I you know most of it was. Most of a pretty good life when we were there, and we've been treated well since too. You know, moving to moving to Indiana, go to school, and Chicago, go to school there, and uh, there weren't too many lows. Uh, I suppose not, the biggest high, of course, was just being able to be on set. You know, I think that would be any Star Wars nerd's dream, and I was very much a Star Wars nerd when I was like when I was younger, before it got released. Uh huh. Yeah. It, it- and. Uh, I it's where I draw a lot of philosophy from because I'm huge in a metaphysical debate and stuff like that. And in the book I'm writing, I get really, um, I get really into that stuff. Yeah, and uh, I'm huge into the uh, sort of pseudo Buddhist concepts that are in it, and the fact that for kids especially, which is why I think it's great that Disney bought it, is that. Uh, you know, the philosophy is very profound when you think about the uh, strength of the mind and any child who can who learns to effectively channel various aspects of their being in order for <laughs> even if it's just to pretend they have the force, is learning a very valuable asset towards like dealing with themselves and other people in the world around them because they're able to better understand themselves through a peaceful manner than you know going crazy all the time. Oh sure, oh absolutely. Oh well, yeah, and, you know, and that's just kind of a you know the the one thing about the Star Wars series that I've always that I've always enjoyed is how it's such a clean movie. There is no yeah. swearing at all in the in the series, and I'm sure a lot of people would probably don't be expecting. Don't come to my Twitch channel if you don't want to hear swearing. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just saying. I'm you now. But I, but I'm seeing her older broadcast thing up. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying though. It, it just it just uh, it just kind of it just kind of uh, neat, you know. Just the fact that uh, that uh, you know it's no swearing. It's it's as clean as it can be, and it has you know a good philosophy about life. And and yeah, we all wish that we could we could be on this on this stage. They're talking about making a Star Wars seven. What what's your thoughts on that? I don't think they're talking about it anymore. I think it, I think they're actually doing it. Start. I, I I think yeah. I think that's kind of as far as I know. They're 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 yeah. in the work. It's in the works anyway. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, do we have any idea what the story is going to be? Have you have you followed up on it as far as like? Because I don't know much about what's going on. I just know bits and pieces. Well, but I've I, just, got, I know nothing that would that would. Uh, <laughs> That would appease you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just know that, it, that it's in good hands, and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, what was I going to say? Well, you know, it seems like, you know, with Star Wars uh, alone, you know, that it's a series that will never die. You know, even when you thought it was going to die after the movies were done, originally anyway, uh, then they brought it back and brought, you know, the, the prequel. 
And then after the prequel, you know, for pretty much all these years, if you're a video game person, which I know you are, uh, they these games keep on coming out like at least one or two, or at least one game like every year or so. It you know comes out based on Star Wars. It's crazy. And then they got. And they do a really good job with them. LucasArts has always been very talented with their with their stuff, and I always enjoy playing them, even if it's not um, considered lore anymore. But it's a, uh, it's always it's always entertaining. I've I've always loved the my favorite were the Kotor games. Really, really love the Kotor games. Oh, okay. Well, I. I uh, sorry. Oh, I was gonna say. Uh, I also know the fact that. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to talk about, like, the Clone Wars. Uh, they even, like, have, like, that show all on Netflix now. Uh, the original, the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, the, the animated series. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciated that, too. I, I, uh, I'm good friends with Daniel Logan, so I always love hearing him play Boba Fett on that. <laughs> on, the, on the old one, not the new one that they're doing. I, I always love hearing him play oh, the other, on the last one. Oh, Sorry. Fair. Yeah, no, no, that, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, so it, it just it just kind of neat, I mean, to, to, to know that uh, that uh, basically with you, you've had a great career, and, and what are what you been up to now, nowadays for people that uh, are trying to follow some of your work, you know, if they're wondering where Jake Lloyd disappeared to. <laughs> well, I just disappeared to school, I became educated, and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've been in school for, I was in school for middle school high school most of college and then i started working for myself i'm a freelance editor um i've been doing mainly corporate videos and stuff like that and some music videos here and there that don't really get shown um on my site because i don't they didn't like me enough um <laughs> How but, could that be? Uh, anyways that's just a joke but uh we did a. Uh, I, I do that. I'm writing a book right now that's currently longer than Harry Potter. Oh, jeez. Uh, not the last one or anything, but the first one. Oh, um, sure, sure, sure. I was going to say longer than the entire series? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you must I, mean, watch. I am not that much of a narcissist to get away with that. I'm sorry. I can't do that. A billion pages uh, of the life of Jake Lloyd. It's semi-autobiographical, and it's mainly... Uh, we're looking, I'm looking for uh, agent at the moment. It's going pretty well. It basically was semi autobiographical, then in uh, like philosophy. Sure. Because um, I can't really write about myself that much because I don't like the idea. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't personally care, and I'm pretty sure no one else cares. So, uh, well, I'm sure. I'm sure somebody well, cares. People should care about philosophy. Oh well, yeah, philosophy. yeah. People should care about philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, I mean, yeah. I mean, if, especially if you're taking the time to write a book. I mean, who knows? Once you get it published, it could be a. It seems like nowadays it doesn't take much to to make stuff a New York Times bestseller. It doesn't seem to take much to put that on the list. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, any any encouragement I can give you is great. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, I I, uh, I really appreciate you do let me do this interview with you. It's been been a lot of fun so far. Um, I was going to ask about uh, well, I, I tried to tell you that I wasn't going to be too similar in my questions, but I do have to. I want to ask about Jingle all the way a little bit, just because you know that's kind of where you kind of you you made. I don't know if you made your film debut in that one because, as far as I read up, you were you were also you did some stuff in ER, you know, the, the show ER. As far as I re- recall from Wikipedia, well, anyway. If you want a quick synopsis of my childhood acting career, I did about eighty plus commercials. Oh, okay, sure. And, and uh, I did several TV spots, a recurring role on ER. My first film debut was uh, on Hook the Stars, doing all the episode one then Madison then I went to school oh <laughs> well that sounds like a good synopsis <laughs> thanks we'll, we'll close the interview right now <laughs> yeah. no, just, done. <laughs> done 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 <laughs> signed sealed delivered <laughs> write the check <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, put my name on it yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we're getting, we're uh, going way too far here. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, I mean, I, I've always just been kind of curious uh, to the, the whole synopsis of the uh, of the, the movie Jingle All Way. You know, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger probably claims it like it's one of the best, one of the worst movies he ever done because of of, of him dressing up in the uh, the Turbo Man suit. But you know, I thought that was a pretty good movie overall. You know, so I've, I've never heard that. He seemed to have fun on the set. Well, I think uh, my friend and I were talking about this earlier today, and he, since uh, since I told him I was going to be talking to you, and I I kind of gave him a rundown of what you've done, and, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I remember you all the way," and you know he's a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, so he he was like, "Well, I heard somewhere that somebody said that it was like he thought it was one of the worst movies he ever did, or something like that." So I don't know if, if that's a quote from Arnold or if it's just actually somebody else is saying that, but. I thought it was a good movie overall, and, and the fact that you guys actually filmed a little bit in Minnesota, or was it all pretty much filmed in Minnesota, besides some of the uh, others? We filmed uh, a few weeks in Minnesota, about s- three to six weeks, and uh, a lot of the outdoor scenes around the houses were filmed in Minnesota, sure. um, some of the on-location stuff, the warehouse stuff, the Mall of America. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I actually had a chance last year, finally, I know this is so weird for being a Minnesotan for most of my life, and, and finally you get my chance to go to the Mall of America last year for the first time ever. Uh, I was kind of curious to figure out, you know, when I was there, I was trying to figure out where the, where, what, you know, what area of the Mall of America was it filmed in? I, I, I was trying to figure it out, but I, I, I don't know if I figured it out or not. Do you kind of remember from... From the days of being what over area there? of the Mall of America? Yeah, like where the term, where like uh, where uh, they get the bucket of balls or whatever, and, and they're like in a room or whatever. And, and I have no idea. They we because uh, I don't even remember. I, I I obviously I was there briefly, and uh, I I don't I don't recall because I was like seven. Yeah, well, I I know it's been a long time and stuff, and <laughs> but you know. It's, 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 like almost 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I suppose it would be, huh? <laughs> Jeez. I'm getting older by the minute. I'm, old, I'm 30 already. Uh, exactly. I'm, I'm as young as I can be at this age, but I'm still old. Well, you're five years younger than <laughs> I... You're five years younger than me, so I mean... <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I, I, I was just always kind of curious because cause I know, you know, since you're, you know, somewhat of a wrestling fan, and I'm, I'm a big wrestling fan, uh, the first ever taping of WCW Monday Nitro back in 1995 uh-huh. was held there. Yes. A lot of people still don't know that. And it's like, how can you be a wrestling fan and not know that? You know? You know? When WCW just decided that they want to rival with WWF and, and make the Monday Night Wars happen. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm a I'm a subscriber to the uh, WWE Network and and uh, it really it's a pretty good network uh, for for any diehard fan. I don't care if you're a small fan or a big fan. Uh, you definitely appreciate for only ten dollars a month all the stuff that they offer on that network. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty badass as far as I'm concerned. But Fair enough. I never I don't watch TV. Period. So. Yeah. Well, you know, you have to watch TV. You got like a, you're a gamer, so you got like a PS3 or I suppose you probably got a PS4 probably now probably. I actually don't do consoles. So you're just a gamer on the computer then? No, yeah, I'm purely a PC gamer now. I used to do oh. PS3 a lot, but um, I, I switched and uh, I'm officially a console gamer. I'm not a console gamer. I'm officially a PC gamer. Oh wow! So you you probably have to have like a really good. Uh, computer like to, that can handle the the video graphics without slowing down and stuff like that. I have a badass computer, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Alienware it probably. I, like I said, I went to school for editing and directing, so I actually bought it for editing. But um, then I started getting it. Then my friend got me into Steam, and oh. Steam is so awesome that I was just like, "All right, your primary function now is to please me." <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, no, that that that's cool though. I mean, I I haven't done a PC game in, in, in a long time. I used to do that too back in the early days, but I'm more of a. I mean, I'll play I'll play games on the computer and stuff, but but not nearly as high tech as as what you're talking about. Like the latest game I'm playing right now is L.A. Nori, and I just I, that game's been out for a couple of years, and I just finally started playing that on the PlayStation Network. It was only five dollars on there, so I just downloaded it and. 
it's actually a pretty good game. It was made by Rockstar Games, the ones that make uh, the Grand Theft Auto games. So. Yeah, I love those. Uh, I'm, San Andreas is still one of my all-time favorite games, and Sam Jackson makes one of the best villains in a video game ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, geez, uh, that's a guy who's just been... You know, he, he he's like in every film, it seems like. just He's doing the, the same thing like what uh, what's that one guy, uh, Morgan Freeman and uh, Michael Caine and a few other people who just, who you see in just about every movie, you know, it seems like. Well, you should, because they rock. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, I mean, and, and, and not only is Samuel L. Jackson doing films, but now he's been doing commercials and stuff, too. And I'm just like, wow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then he got pissed off at that one guy because the, the the one guy thought he was Lawrence Fishburne. I was just like, geez, <sighs> that was a while ago. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, well, I I don't know. I don't really have any other questions for you, there, Jake. But I just want to say thanks a lot for for letting me talk to you. It's uh, definitely a big honor, and uh, you know, yeah, no problem. It was definitely it was it was fun. And do you have anything you want to say to my radio audience that uh, wants to see well, hear what you want to say? Any final? final uh, words? <laughs> I suppose I should do my, uh, my your plug. I, sh- I suppose I should actually get some publicity out of this. Sure. <laughs> Go, I don't care. Uh, I'm just teasing. Um, you can, if you want, you can find me on Facebook. It's a uh, Jake Lloyd and. Uh, if otherwise, you can come see us on Twitch slash Tomato Twitch TV slash Tomato Jake on the weekends. We uh, have an open chat going all day long, and you can ask me whatever the hell you please. <laughs> and uh, we uh, we typically just chill, play video games. Sometimes we'll bring people from the chat in on Steam and play video games with them. And uh, Yeah, we, we have a good time. It's actually a blast. It's uh, been one of the best weekend hobbies I've ever come up with, but we take it rather seriously. We have uh, we do interviews at night and stuff, and we do uh, gaming during the day, so it's a lot of fun. Sounds like it would be. I mean, just to, just to, just to be laid back, relax, and not have to worry about anything else, just play games all day. <laughs> yeah, throw some Star Wars questions out if you feel like it. If not, you can just uh, chat with everybody else and and, you know, watch me get my ass handed to me in the Dark Souls. I am so awful at that game, but, but, but it's, still, it's still pretty fun. Sorry? <laughs> but but that can't be. You're, you're Anakin Skywalker. You can you got the Force behind you, remember? <laughs> well, I, if I'm a cleric, yes, I can have the Force, but normally I, I'm, I'm not necessarily a cleric. I like to go as a sorcerer, because sorcerers are a little bit better. Blah, 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 yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to make that reference because I thought it was just kind of kind of neat when you talk about you know you get no, your, your ass handled. Totally cool. <laughs> I used to okay. I'm thinking all different for many reasons, but um, one of them is that I when I first started streaming, my character was super naked Jesus, oh, and because uh, the game can be you could become a zombie and then become human again. So I thought it was perfect. <laughs> I would run around as, as this character and uh, <laughs> just pummel people and use the form. So, oh, yeah. There you <laughs> go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I thought it was pretty funny, but I, I tur- it turns some people off, and some people, they love it, so it's 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 all right with me. I'm not so much poking. I'm actually emceeing Christian films this next weekend. Oh, jeez. That so should be exciting. Be interesting with that as a background. <laughs> uh, they'll be like, so what have you been up to? And I'll be like, well, I haven't been making movies like you, but I made Super Naked Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Nobody can take that away from you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, man. Well, hey, I appreciate this, and uh, I'll let you know when I post this on my on my Facebook page and stuff. All right, no problem. All right, thanks much. Bye. And that was well, good old Jake Lloyd. You know, I always love chat. Well, this is the first time I actually chatted with him, but. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this good interview. It was a lot of fun to do, 
and uh, it was definitely a lot of fun to uh, to talk to talk to Mr. Jake Lloyd, aka the young Anakin Skywalker for all you Star Wars uh, nerds out there. Hey, I like Star Wars too. That's why I, I wanted to do this interview with Jake and. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, hey, we'll be right back with some more great fun here with the old Reb and Frankie Slauson here on the Frankie Slauson Show. <laughs> 